how's it going today? Uh, this little video is about a uh, comparison of light modifiers for uh, Nikon flashes or Canon flashes, any of those little, little speed light flashes like this, and trying to get quality of light from small uh, lighting sources like this can be a challenge, so people come up with ways of modifying uh, your little uh, speed lights so that the light gets bigger, it gets softer, it gets diffused, these kinds of things. So there's lots of stuff on the market uh, that is designed for this purpose. And uh, what I thought I would do is uh, is take you through kind of a couple of little comparisons I picked up from my friend, borrowed this, is the old Gary Fong light sphere. And so I got this guy, and it also came with the chrome dome that goes inside of it as well. And I had this, and I had bought this a long time ago when I figured that, well, if I bought a flash, I should probably have some kind of a, uh, of a uh, diffuser. So I bought this little Aurora light bank uh, softbox. And it has full downable flaps with Velcro, and it Velcros onto your uh, onto your speed light either with permanent Velcro or it does come with kind of like a uh, speed strap here. So what I thought I would do is I'd take you through some of the uh, of the photos I shot today, just comparing these two, uh, also with a bear flash, uh, a bounce flash, and then the uh, the softbox and the uh, Gary Fong light sphere, and just kind of get a comparison of lighting quality that comes apart with, uh, with that comes part and parcel of these uh, of these small flash diffusers. So I'll take you through a bit of a, of a screencast here uh, of some of the photos that I took. So I've got the sock monkey and the sock monkey here. These all, all of the pictures here are taken at uh, ISO 400, getting a little bit more snap from these small flashes. Uh, f 3.5 60th of a second and at 16 millimeter so wide and uh, the SB 600 I was using had the uh, the diffuser the wide angle diffuser on as well so a little extra diffusion so trying to get the light soft so this shot here of the sock monkey is straight uh, is, is no flash no flash at all it's just uh, a natural uh, light photo of this uh, sock monkey and uh, and you can see here uh, there he is. Okay, so there's really there's really no shadows uh, at all with this other than the one behind here. Okay, so the next shot was straight flash. As you can expect, there is uh, more pronounced shadows, and uh, and that's kind of the quality of light you get from 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 a straight flash. Um, this is really no surprise to anybody who's used flash before. Uh, bounce flash. Uh, this is just up. I'm in a hallway here, low ceiling, white ceiling. And so I bounce the flash off the uh, the top of the of the ceiling there, coming down, and you get that typical kind of um, you know a little bit better than straight flash lighting, but not super great light quality. If you try this on people, you're going to get like dark circles under the eyes and this kind of stuff, which is not all that super pleasing. Okay, the next one here. This is the Aurora light box. This is the little small soft block box for the flash, and uh, as you can see, it it kills off. Maybe like a good stop and a half, stop and stop and three quarters stops of light, and that's not that great actually. <laughs> so it does kill your flash. I think if you want it to be fair, you'd have to up your uh, flash compensation a bit to try to get this up to the same level as the other ones. But anyway, here's the softbox. Still some shadows happening. Uh, that's softbox. This is the softbox pointed to the ceiling. Okay, as opposed to straight on, and you can see what happens is that a lot of the light goes up through the ceiling, comes back down, and creates this kind of effect, <laughs> which is an odd lighting, to say the least. So a little bit of highlight here on this button of the sock monkey's eye, but it falls off quickly, so it's not that super pleasing. All right, here's the light from the Gary Fong light sphere. And uh, as you can see here, it produces kind of a flat quality of light, uh, this is without the uh, without the dome diffuser or without the chrome dome on it as at all. This is just the uh, just the Gary Fong light sphere, and uh, you can see what kind of a flat, shadowless kind of light this produces. And then the last one is the with the chrome dome, and there's really not a whole bunch. I even made sure that I had this little back piece of the Gary Fong chrome dome thing to the back, so the flash is going this way. For a little bit extra kick and I don't know you can see for yourself there's not a whole shellac load of difference the lighting quality is a little less warm if anything if you look at the white but I don't know not a whole lot of difference so there's kind of the difference in light quality of the of these two units you've got the uh, the uh, little miniature softbox and the 
and the Gary Fong diffuser, so light sphere. So that's kind of uh, the extent of this video. I just wanted to show you a little bit of uh, light quality difference in small uh, on on camera flash uh, setups. And neither of these are all that super great, uh, but you know the Gary Fong thing does does its does its thing. So you can kind of look at here. This is me in a mirror. And there is with it up in the proper position of the omni head of the flash turned sideways. And so that's so that you can do this. Uh, you can kind of do the, uh, the, the landscape or portraits without having to move your setup. You can just rotate, your, rotate the head on the on omnidirectional omni flash head. Okay, So as per Gary's instructions. But it does create a not, a not too bad of a quality of light, really. You can see what's happening here in this picture. Uh, is that there's a whole schwack load of light going to the ceiling. So if you have a low ceiling, it's going to be great because it's going to act as a bounce. And then the light coming through the sphere out at you is going to fill in some of those shadows that are created by the, by the bounce flash from the ceiling. So that's the kind of quality of light that the little uh, the Gary Fong thing can produce. So here's one just me holding the, the camera. Okay, this is, with a, this is with a flash. Going to the ceiling, no diffusion, no Gary Fong, nothing. It's just straight bounce flash, okay, in the hallway with a low ceiling. And there's, uh, there's that. And then here's the Gary Fong light sphere. And you can see it really warmed up uh, and richened up my, uh, my skin quality there, <laughs> or skin color. So a little bit more rosy in this photo, okay. But there's a difference, so kind of see if anything the shadows are a little bit little bit different with the light sphere on. But anywho, there is the report on the small light diffusion. Thanks for watching.